<laughs> Take in the spectacular views of Bowens Island and listen to a little smooth jazz. This Sunday's Charleston Jazz Jam presented by the Charleston Jazz Club. Dennis Fasilotis. That's pretty good. And well, Steve well. Simone are here with a little preview of this event and also for a great cause. And uh, Dennis, we'll start with you first. Uh, this is now into your sixth year. Tell us about this. It is. Uh, Tom, we've had a, a great run. Uh, we're the longest running jazz jam in Charleston. Mm -hmm. um, and essentially, we're a musician's network. Mm -hmm. uh, this event is a very special event because uh, it's t entitled Hand in Hand. Mm -hmm. And it's a tribute, it's a musical tribute mm -hmm. to uh, Manual AME. And we're using it as an opportunity to raise some funds for their scholarship fund. Oh, very nice for you guys to do that. Very, very nice. Now, Steve, we're going to toss it over to you. You're over there with the set, and we're going to uh, be listening to you guys in just a moment. Uh, tell us about, you have been in the blues industry for years. You've traveled overseas. You've done a lot of entertainment for the troops and so forth, but now you're in into this into this jazz. What, what about the transition? Is it an easy transition? Well, I've always been a jazz musician since I was a kid, but mm -hmm. uh, back uh, when we were uh, fighting a war in Iraq, uh, I became a volunteer producer for USO mm -hmm. and started producing blues shows for our troops and men and women in uniform overseas, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, uh, all, all over the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been very, very joyful. I continue to do that. But my heart really is in jazz. My heart's mm -hmm. with the troops, but my musical uh, heart is, uh, is in jazz. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, been fortunate for the last four years to have... Uh, be the leader of the Kings of Jazz, a jazz band that plays every week here in downtown Charleston. And uh, most of my friends, as you can see, are, are mm -hmm. wonderful jazz musicians. And it's joyful to bring this kind of music uh, to our community, a community that, you know, is the birthplace of jazz in the United States. And, and we appreciate you doing that for the troops overseas because it, when you do that overseas and when you go into those locations, it's much harder to produce, to bring the people in, to get clearances and all that. And we appreciate your effort in making our troops happy over there with all that. Um, Dennis, uh, you're doing this event once again for AME Emmanuel. Um, when you put something like this together and you're thinking about those folks, uh, what, what comes to mind? Well, you know, the, I had a personal experience, Tom, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know the the grace that these folks showed in the in the face of adversity, um, you know, created a a, a a spirit of forgiveness in my own mind at a particularly difficult time in my life when my father passed away, and I held his hand for almost 30 hours. I broke away for just a moment, and he was gone, mm -hmm. and I was angry. Yeah. And, and, and my rage just mm -hmm. turned into grief. The minute I thought about Emmanuel, their sense of forgiveness, mm -hmm. you, know, the, you know, the opportunity to give someone a second chance. And then, and, 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 and it, I came to the conclusion, we can't change things by changing people's minds. We have to change what's mm -hmm. in their hearts. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about what we, what we do is that in promoting jazz and promoting you know, Charleston as a birthplace of jazz, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we have an opportunity to attract musicians that may be new to the area, that may be coming into the area, that want to you know network with other musicians, mm -hmm. other people uh, within the community that have a common interest, mm -hmm. and that's where we really have pro uh, provided a, a a wonderful jumping off point for so many people mm -hmm. over the last few years, and mm -hmm. and we're just pleased to be able to honor AME in in this particular year's event. Got a couple of seconds left. Introduce the band there. Absolutely. The um, first, I'd like to introduce John, uh, Don Delpy on bass, uh, Steve Simon, who we just met on clarinet, uh, Bobby Alvarez on congas and vocals, and of course John Tecklenburg uh, back on the keyboard. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we've been hearing it for the last couple of hours. Play some more for us, would you? And I would like to just uh, thank our event. Time after time. You hear me say that I'm so lucky to be loved. 